Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to do some random idol animation. So as you can see here on the screen, we're going to try and not try, but we're going to use those four animation for idol for Marak character. So the first thing that you have to do is going on the Mixmo website, download the character that you want with the idol animation that you wish to use for your game, and you'll be all set and good to start this tutorial. The first step is to import the character. So take your character that you downloaded and just drag it to your Unreal project. So me, I'm going to put it in that folder. They're going to ask you this. So everything is good from the start as we don't have any mesh to assign that because it's the mesh with the skeleton bone. So we're all good. So we're just going to do import all. So when that is there, we're going to have our character. So me, I'm just going to move that to texture here just to keep that a little bit organized. So now everything is there. We're all good. So we can save everything. So we just need to put the animation now. They're already here for me, but I'm going to delete those one because they're no longer good for me. So I have those four idle animations. So I'm just going to drag it here. And here it's important to select your mesh for your character. So I'm going to take this one here because it's the one that I downloaded. I'm just going to do import all. Now those animations will be assigned to this uh, character. Now to be able to use those idle animation, we just have to create an animation blueprint. So right click in your content browser and we're going to select animation blueprint. We're going to select the character that we want to use the animation for. So it's going to be this one for my case. And I'm going to create it and I'm just going to go right in it. So while you're right here, we're going to search for state machine and I'm just going to put a default slot and we're going to put that right there. We're going to pile that. Now we can open the state machine. So from that, we're going to have to add a state and we're going to call it idols. And we're going to go right in that. So here, we're just going to have to search for random and we're going to take um, the random sequence player and we're going to compile. So from here, we just have to put the idol that we want. So for me, I have four idols. So I'm going to put four entry here, my four entries. So I'm just going to open this and select each animation. So I'm going to take this one here and open this one, select this, the other one. I'm just going to search for idol. So I get all of it faster. This one here and this one here. So now I have my four idol that I want so you can always you know play with this if you want it loop at least a minimum of time or you want to adjust the play rate of it so you can play with that also your blend time if you think that 0.2 seconds to blend between animations is not long enough you can always change that number uh, for me I'm not gonna change anything and we're all good so now you can compile as you can see now, you have one animation playing. You can always shuffle your animation if you want to. Um, so if you shuffle it, usually uh, it shall not play back the same animation twice. So that's pretty good. So I'm just going to put in shovel. So it's a little bit different. From here, we're just going to assign this character that you downloaded or the one that you downloaded for my case is this one here. 
and we're going to assign that to the third person character. So I'm going to open the content browser. I'm going to go to the third person folder blueprint and open the third person character blueprint. And here I'm going to go to the viewport so we can see the change. I'm going to click on mesh and I'm going to select the skeleton mesh that I want. For my case, it's this one here. I'm going to take this one. Now it's in T pose. We're just going to assign the blueprint that we did. So we're going to go under the animation class and just select the blueprint that we created. So for me, it's the new anim blueprint. And I'm going to compile and save that. Now, if I go back to the game here, I just want to make sure that in my game selection, here's the third person character, which it is. That's great. So if I do play, it should be that character with the random animation. You can see it's playing the different animations. So now you can play with the blend time because it's changing very, very quickly. So if we go back here and go into sequencer, uh, we can open the blend and maybe put that to the middle ground. So I'm going to put 0.5. Let's try here to put all of them at 0.5 just to see what kind of difference it's going to do for us because the blend time is very fast. I'm gonna compile and save that. So we're gonna go back here and try again. Whoops. Now you see it's a little bit slower, so it doesn't snap too much anymore. So that's good. That's perfect. So I think 0.5 is a, it's a good middle ground. So that's pretty much how you do this. And maybe just a little uh, bonus here. If you go back to your um, animation graph here to your state machine. So if you have, you know, other code here, you know, walking, for example, and, and other things, you need to create the idle first. And after that, you have to create a new state, for example, walk. And you put your BS, you know, walk in it. Um, if you try to put idle and the walk at the same time, it's not going to work. So make sure that you put first just idle animation and all your other animation right after and just create your transition between. So usually uh, you're going to create a transition, something like you're going to take your speed here. We don't have the variable for speed, but you're going to get your speed and you're going to do greater than 10 or the number that you want. And to come back, it's going to be uh, speed less than um, 5, for example, or 10, the number that you want to put. And you'll be all set and good to go. So you're going to be able to transition between your walk and your idle. So that's how you do a random animation for your idle. So you can put as many as you want. So hopefully, I'll see you in the next one for another video. See ya.